New tonight, New York pizza is definitely not as good as Chicago. The Red Sox are the greatest team ever, and New York City subways always run on time. Wait a second, who is that guy? It sounds like Steve Lacey, but it kind of looks like me, and I know I never said any of those things. Yeah, let me just uh, replay. But this fake news anchor is a real example of a fascinating new technology with frightening potential uses. I'm looking at this, and it, it looks like a real person. I mean, it's not me, it's not Steve, it's some right. <laughs> Frankenstein mix of right. both, but obviously my mouth never said those words. Right. That's how well the algorithm understands your face. The videos are what's known as deep fakes, a computer-generated clip using an algorithm that learned my face so well that it can recreate it with remarkable accuracy. My generated face can then be swapped onto someone else's head like that original video with Steve. New tonight. Or it can be used to make it look entirely like me, saying Sox things I've never said. New York City subways always run on time. We noticed those artifacts. For this piece, I worked with Professor Sway Liu and his team at the Computer Science Department at the University at Albany. For a lot of people, seeing is believing. Mm. Is that not the case anymore with deepfake? Well, I, I'll at least say it's not 100% true anymore. Their deepfake research is funded by DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, a mouthful but essentially the R&D branch of the Defense Department, working to develop a set of tools the government and public can use to detect and combat the rise of deepfakes. Are you basically the the fact checker of deepfakes. What we are doing here is providing a kind of automatic technical means for the authentication of these kind of videos. And shockingly, they're not that hard to make. All it takes is a few seconds of video of someone, a powerful computer, and some code. Code Professor Liu and his team don't release publicly. The real danger, I believe, is the fact that the line between what is real and what is fake is blurred because the existing of this kind of technology. So here's the original video of Steve Lacey saying the fake script. New tonight, New York pizza is... Here's the algorithm learning my face and again the finished product. New York City subways always run on time. But this is more than just a news anchor face swap experiment. Think about it. The power to make a video of anybody saying anything is to say the least alarming. Even the former president is raising red flags. We're entering an era in which our enemies can make it look like anyone is saying anything at any point in time, even if they would never say those things. The funny thing is, that's not Barack Obama. That video is a deep fake. Actor Jordan Peele is impersonating Obama's voice. The algorithm is doing the rest. Moving forward, we need to be more vigilant with what we trust from the Internet. It's not hard to imagine how a deep fake video could quickly create a very scary real-world scenario. Say a video of a world leader like Vladimir Putin pops up on the internet declaring war on another country. Or maybe the head of a major company announcing his or her abrupt resignation, putting the markets in a tailspin. Videos like that could spread like wildfire before fact checkers, journalists and governments even have the chance to validate it. Are we organized in a way that we could possibly respond fast enough uh, to a catastrophic deepfakes attack? And the government is paying attention. It poses a, a major threat uh, to the United States and something that the intelligence community needs to be restructured to address. And that's where Professor Liu's research comes in. Their main focus is actually detecting deepfakes. Each side want to get a little bit edge over the other. And this is actually, you know, for the good part, this actually gives us good motivation and incentive to grow this research field. So there are and like as the research grows, so will the quality of the deepfake videos being produced, making it harder and harder to differentiate between what's real and what isn't. That's why they're working on developing this set of tools right now to be deployed down the road. Our challenge is how do you build the algorithm to identify the anomaly? Because every deep fake has a flaw. At least now they do. Face, you know, nose and eyes emerge. Yeah, wow. In Albany, I'm Joe Tuey, Fox 5 News.